And the next episode is episode 4, which was actually my favorite episode of the first 6 episodes. This is a 12 episode series, so we'll be talking about the next 6 episodes in a different video. Within the first 6, 4 was, four was definitely my favorite. I don't know what your favorite was. I didn't have a lot of notes on that one. Yeah. I just... For me, there wasn't a lot of memorable things happening in that episode. No. But it was it was one of the better ones based yeah. on like lines and yeah everything. To me, the reason why I enjoyed this episode so much was not like the content, like it wasn't the plot or anything. It was just I personally felt like the characters made sense in this episode, yeah. which they have not been doing like throughout the show. Like to me, Jason, Alec, like their lines seem like they're switched because yeah, the lines that Alec is saying are very Jace like at the beginning of City of Bones. So, but in this episode, they seemed good, like, for everyone, and I was very happy about it, like, no matter if there's no plot, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was just a character-building episode to me. Yeah. My favorite line of episode four was, it's never too late for teriyaki, teriyaki, <laughs> yeah, which was, Luke. yeah, oh my gosh. They started to get better with the lines. Yeah, I feel like we're supposed to laugh at that one. Yeah. Like, mostly the, of the show is just us laughing at the show, but, like, it's starting to become where we laugh with it, which is yeah. really good. The second time watching it, we kind of like caught more of the humor yeah. in it. Yeah, there's there's humor there. I just yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot there. of times it's like not issue right or by the right characters as it's supposed to be, which like just feels like really weird and like awkward to like yeah. someone who's read the books. I think they're just kind of trying to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, also, I feel like we have to talk about this. Like, the pentagram that Clary drew. <laughs> like, maybe she got, like, a speed rune before she drew it or something. Yeah. I feel like they didn't really explain what rune Jace gave her right before that. And she, like, screamed really loud, which I also don't understand. But, like, whatever <laughs> happened there, she drew it, like, super fast. I don't know. That was very unrealistic, even for Shadow yeah. Runner. But And he, like, compared whatever. it to, do you, like... Was it Picasso? I don't know. It was some yeah. painter. Yeah. Know. Like, it was just, like, a perfectly drawn pentagram that she did in, like, I don't know, three minutes or something. Like, within the <laughs> commercial like, break, it happened. Yeah, he, like, gave her the chalk. She's like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> and then, the pentagram that Clary drew, she could not find a place on one of the, like, uh... What the points. Called? Yeah, she couldn't find a place on one of the points of the pentagram. Yeah. Jace, like, kind of led her. She's like, where do I go? And Jace's like, oh... Right there, the last... Right. Where that <laughs> spot is. You see that empty spot? Where everybody else is standing. <laughs> yeah, that scene seemed very off to me, like, yeah. where it was. Like, they definitely, like, summoned demons and stuff, but, like, I don't know. I haven't read the books in, like, a year and a half, so I'm not completely sure on it, but, like, it just felt really weird and, like, at the wrong time. Yeah. Like, I feel like something very similar happened to that in, like, book four or five. Yeah, I haven't gone so, to it. So... Like, I don't know. It's just very weird, the order in which you're doing all these scenes. Why did Alex break the bond? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, I know it was, I know Jace, like, shows up, obviously, because he loves him, but... But they're parabatai, and that, like, yeah. seems natural that, like, Jace yeah. would be the one that Alec loves the most, to me, at least. But, um... It, was, it shows that Jace wasn't bothered by it. Yeah. But he just got really embarrassed, I guess. Yeah, and that scene happens... Yeah. I don't know. Have you read that scene, though? The Memory Demon? Yeah. No, I haven't. Yeah, like, that scene happens, where that happens, but it's, like, way later. Yeah. And so, it's just a very misplaced scene, and it seemed weird. Like, I'm pretty sure they combined two different demons that were supposed to happen, and it's just... It was very off. And now to episode five, what were your positives? <laughs> um... I don't... What was that one? Uh... That was the one things. with the werewolves, right? With Luke and the werewolves. Oh yeah, probably so. Okay. Yeah. We probably should have like written down like what. <laughs> yeah. What each it kind of like blurs together. Yeah, like the like the books and all yeah. those. My positives for episode five were the panning actually felt better. Yeah. Um, and like just the shots of the shots that they took were like way better. Wasn't oh, my it gosh, from right, like the teaser? Like, the painting that they had in that episode. Yeah, they had a the really teaser. good painting thing that was in the teaser. Yeah. Um, at the end, whenever they're in, like, the werewolf place. Yeah, I don't know what Chinese call restaurant. It. Yeah, like, by the Chinese restaurant yeah. thing. Uh, I felt like that painting shot was really well done. Like, it looks a little bit cheesy, but, like, 
it's okay. Like they all draw out their things that they're known for. Izzy has her snake bracelet thing, snake her, whip. Her, yeah, her whip. And Alec has his arrows, and then Jace has his seraph blade, and like it just was very characteristic of those characters, and so I really enjoyed that. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. They need a better composer for this show. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I feel like they don't even have a composer. Like, they just use, like, their Bits. basic ABC Family music or something for yeah. the show. Or they just, like, buy songs to do it, but, like, it's just very Not fitting. weird. Yeah. The moment. It didn't really fit the moment too much, I think. Yeah, like... Whenever they were but, leaving the werewolf, um camp plays like they didn't do you remember they like played that i can't remember what kind of music it was but it just didn't really yeah play they just played music at the wrong times like the the wrong type of music at the wrong times basically like a lot of times with fantasy like the music is what drives like the show or like the movies and so like to have bad music i feel like it's like really stifling to the show um and i feel like a lot of people don't really realize whether or not the music choices are good but, like, you can tell, like, the show will just feel better if, like, the music is good. Like, yeah. I mean, like, any classic fantasy thing, like, Star Wars has really good music yeah. and, like, drives the plot and drives the show. So, hopefully they'll, like, get a composer or something. Like, if this show does good, if it gets a second season, like, maybe they'll, like, try harder at, like, certain <laughs> aspects of it. <laughs> maybe they'll actually try. <laughs> <laughs> like, because they probably got a low budget. Yeah. Even for a fantasy, they probably got a low budget. And so, maybe next season they'll have, like, a composer <laughs> or something to write it. I hope. Uh. So, I don't really like Dominique Sherwood as Jace so far, but, like, he put his hand on, like, Clary's face. Oh my god. And it was a nice scene. It was very cute. It was, like, that is the reason why... Dominique Sherwood is on the show is because he and Kat have, like, really good chemistry. Yeah. So, like, we just need to see more of that and, like, yeah. enjoy his character more, I think. Yeah. Because at first, like, the lines kind of... His lines weren't really Jace-like, like we were saying yeah. before. But as you, like, have scenes with Clary and Jace, it's more... You can see more of why they were chosen. Yeah, like, their chemistry is just really good, like... I would say physically more than, like, <laughs> their words, because, like, sometimes yeah. their words seem weird, but, like, their physical chemistry is really good, and I feel like that will definitely, like, drive their characters, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And obviously I want to see more scenes of place. So, oh my gosh. In general. <laughs> <laughs> I think episode five was the episode in which, like, Meliorn and Izzy, oh, like, yeah. had, like, sex for, like, the price of secrets or something. Yeah, they're, like, pimping very Izzy out. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> It just didn't make sense, and it's, like, definitely not something that happens in the books. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. Um, Izzy should be, like, 18 or 19 probably yeah. at this point in time. Like, again, so. they, they just over-sexualize Izzy. They really do, yeah. and then they, like, bring it up in front of, like, every single one of her family members. Yeah. They're like, well, we it's all know mentioned. that you're the closest to the Fae or to the <laughs> Seelies. Yeah. So, it's weird. It's so weird. I don't like yeah. that. She breaks up with Meliorn very, very early on in City of Bones, so hopefully, like, none of those scenes will be happening after that, because that's really, like, annoying and, like, over-sexualized, so yeah. maybe it'll stop. Also, in, this, in episode five, Alec was saying a lot of things that Jay should have said. Yeah. And he's also in a lot of places that Jay should be in. Um, maybe it's because Dominique's not doing too well at the lines. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but, like, he's not in a lot of scenes with Clary. Like, he is in... City Bones. I just feel like it's weird because, like, um, whenever Dominique and Kat have, like, scenes together, it's, like, kind of fewer than, like, Alec and, um, Alec and Clary do. Yeah. Which is weird because it's, yeah. like, how do, how does Jace and Clary, like, form their chem chemistry yeah, if, like, they're never in scenes together? You want to see more character development with them yeah, like it's, versus, like, Alec and Clary. It just seemed kind of unrealistic on a romantic side of, like, how their relationship forms so fast. But I guess it kind of forms fast in the books, too, so it's not yeah. like a big thing. Okay, and now for the last episode, episode six <laughs> of what we're going to be talking about today. So what were your positives on episode six? Um, I literally do not have any. Yeah. I don't know why. I feel, really? like it, I feel like it wasn't a bad episode. I, just I really liked it. I didn't write any down. The Clary and Jace moments, like, in that episode was A1, I think. I can't even remember what... I know there was one. There was a really cute one. I feel like after episode, like, episode four or five, like, after that, they start, like, getting closer. Yeah, that's true. 
I just don't remember episode six for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> what happened in that episode? Uh. Oh, the Simon vs. Jace. Yeah, the Simon vs. Jace. My brain, like, skipped episode six and <laughs> just, like, thinking about episode seven because we watched episode six and seven last night. Yeah. It's kind of, like, seven blending together. is so good. Yeah. Oh I'm my not going to talk about it, but oh. it's so yeah. good. And so, like, I'm... My brain is, like, skipping out on episode <laughs> Six. Okay, we'll just skip on to the negatives. <laughs> it gets better. But. It does. <laughs> the flashback scenes hurt. They really did. Oh my gosh. Like, like you were talking about uh, the blood scenes too. That was the one where oh, yeah. he grabbed the cup, right? Yeah. That was one of the flashback scenes. The blood was just strategically placed to where <laughs> <laughs> it looked painted on. It looked so bad. Yeah, I just felt like the flashback scenes were really awkward. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Yeah, the actors, they don't look like the actors in, like, no. the show itself, which is weird. Um, like, Luke? The younger Luke doesn't look anything like the but, the one now. Yeah, they should have just, like, put made them look younger somehow, like, made the actors themselves look younger. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they could have done, like, something with that. Mm -hmm. Or just, like not have flashback scenes. <laughs> like, if you cannot do the flashback scenes, just don't do the flashback yeah. scenes. I think like, the flashback scenes were, like, for more people who haven't read the books. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But, yeah. Like, I, I guess he could have just, like, talked about it or something. I don't know. Do it in a different way where you don't have those, like, actors doing it. I don't know. Yeah. It was badly done. But what I did like about that part was that the way that Idris was shown. Oh, yeah. Um, it was very pretty, and it looked Grecian, almost. And so I thought that was very well done. And I'm excited for what Idris is going to look like. If they, like, keep with what it looked like, then... Yeah. Because I thought it looked nice. And along with the blood effects, they were not good at all. Like, this is the specific episode in which the blood effects were, like, really noticeably bad. Like, not done very well. Like, especially Clary. She just has, like, blood <laughs> right here. It looks like food coloring just, like, got yeah. on. Yeah, color. or, like, they just, like put a finger on, like, lipstick, on, like, red lipstick, and then, like, smeared it on her face. Like, if you really, like, look at those scenes, it just, the blood effects are not good. Yeah. I don't understand, because the way they draw runes is, like, very well done, but then, like, they can't do, I guess they just can't do blood special effects, but yeah. they need to find someone who, like, can. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, I'm so I, critical, but, I, I mean, since we've, like, read the books, I want a really good adaptation, adaptation you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I, we get it that, like, ABC Family slash Freeform, like, they haven't been doing fantasy. I don't yeah. think they've ever done anything fantasy. No. Um, maybe, like, some fantastical element or something. I don't know. I don't watch ABC Family, like, at all. Um, have you watched it at no, all? No, not really. Yeah, like, I just don't really like the shows that are on there. I like fantasy, fantasy shows, and I know that like, you do as well. So, like, knowing other better fantasy shows and, like, how they do their effects, and then seeing a very new show on a channel that is very new to fantasy is, like, just very disconcerting, and then, like, having read the books. Like, we understand. Like... Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah. At least the first season. Yeah, we have hope for the show. We're yeah, we do. watching the show. Some of my favorite shows, the first season, I, like, force you to watch Supernatural. Yeah. The first few episodes, it was pretty cringeworthy, some of the effects, but it's yeah. my fave show. And we have Doc hope. Doctor Who too. Like oh the, yeah, <laughs> of the newer episodes, like the um, series as a whole, like um, it's really good. Like now, but like it wasn't at first. Like it's yeah. very cringeworthy. The scenes, oh the gosh. acting, like just everything about it, I yeah. don't like. But I'll watch it, and I'm gonna continue watching Shadowhunters, no matter how until, bad it gets. Yeah, until they finish it, or yeah, until they stop making yeah, it, or, or they completely go off plot, then I'll probably stop watching yeah. it then. What do you want to see happen next in the show? Oh my gosh, you need, I, I need Malik. I'm sorry. Yeah. I need Malik so hard. I know there's a specific episode for it, but... Yeah, titled Malik. It's literally the last episode of the season, yeah. so... I also want to see more, like, actual scenes from the books, instead of just random yeah. parts of it interjected. Yeah, I know some people are upset about um, a certain scene in episode 7. I won't say what it is yet. I just want the characters to be themselves. Like, yeah. that's all I want right now. <laughs> I just want them to act like themselves and have better lines would yeah. be something that I'd really <laughs> like. I yeah. think everybody would really like. But, yeah, if the, if the characters just acted more like who they are in the books, I would be happy. And it seems like they are 
So I'm pretty happy with how it is now. We've seen episode seven at this point in time. It makes so, me very hopeful. Yes, episode seven is so very happy. good. Keep watching until episode seven, yeah. and hopefully you'll like that episode. I know some people still didn't like it. We'll but. actually have pos positives for that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Literally after we finished watching it, that was it. That was all our Twitter. Just yeah, yeah. Hashtag Clays. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this Thank episode you. or this video. Episode. <laughs> Thanks for this episode. We're, we're now filming Chat Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing season two. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on how the show is going so far to you. I'll also leave a link if you guys want to follow <laughs> Joanne on Twitter. I'll leave a link to her Twitter down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now we're going to go back to reading. So tell me how Bye. Bye. Oh, ow. <laughs> oh my god. Do you mind if I hit your book against my camera? Go ahead. All right. Do it. It looks so nice. Is this a new one? Like yeah. a new? Please slip it. Uh, yes, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving that. I can't. <laughs>